Hi guys, welcome back to No Fear Gaming and in this episode I just wanted to quickly go over a few hidden features that I found while I've been playing over the past couple of days. Stuff Look that right. I haven't covered in the episodes but I've managed go to check that out. pick up on. So the first one is back in the original Fault 111, check is it out. that if you take dog meat with you, take them down back into the control room where you first come out of the cryo chamber. Take a look. There's a big freeze gun hidden behind the master lock. What's there, boy? Now, telling dog me to just go to it does not work. You can't just get in there, tell him, oh, come here, come here, do this. You have to actually go over to him, talk to him, tell him to How look for the items. When you tell hey, him to look boy. for the items, he'll bark and he'll do his usual little sniff round, and then he will go over, See which he's going to do in a second. Come on, Dogmeat, hurry up. He goes over and he magically pulls it out. And he brings it over to you. And that'll get you the big Hell massive, yeah. like, freeze gun thing, which is actually pretty kick-ass little gun. And don't forget, Dogmeat, go into trade and take the ammunition off him. Now, the next ones was, um, I found Fault 81. But there's also a hidden section of Fault 81. So I'll pop up the pit boy to show you the location of where it is. It's roughly to the left of Diamond City and straight down from the original base. Now the first thing I found is in the barbers. Hey, yes, you can redo your well, hair in here. Well, that's it. it the There's a tattoo in. right there in the magazine. Yes. Which gives you a tattoo for your face. Which is pretty cool. You have to go oh, you have to go all the way over to Diamond City and use the plaster surgeon. To do anything with it. And then the next one is in the classroom. If you come here during the day, when all the children and everything are here, and talk to the teacher, she'll ask you to tell them a story. You tell the kids a story, and she will actually give you a perk at the end of it, which is quite cool. I couldn't redo it, I'd already done it and saved it, so you just go into that classroom that I just came out of. Um, but then there's a few little side quest missions that I found that you have to do, which unlocks a mission later on. So the first one was to go talk to this lady and eat her weird food. But you can steal all her fruit, and you can sell her fruit to the candy, which is just next door. Wow. Which do is quite good for I'm you. In need of a willing Your bottle caps gives you a few extras. Fruit so you just nodded to her. Uh, why don't you just she gives you some stuff. Yourself. Me? I'm the vault you eat it, right. and then you here, you're I done. Grew, but I need someone to test it. Is it so dangerous? She's growing her own well, weird food. I was a bit weary about trying it. And it gets worse when yeah, she says, she's just going hell? to look for the cryometer. Excellent. Just tell me how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Hmm, now where'd I put that Geiger counter? I never trust a strange old lady that gives us random food. But it's just in your inventory once you get it. So you pop in your pit boy, pop over, grab a hold of it, and eat it. It doesn't seem to have any effects whatsoever. Heals a tiny little bit of health. I think that's about it. Pardon me, Talk to her again, mission complete. Did you try the fruit? Tell me Yay. Me. Seems to give you some sort of like... It was good. No effects. Oh, yeah, I you've knew. done this. this I'll ask you to do the mission Since later on. I found that you have to do these few little missions to get the you see, mission later. So you have to do these couple of little this side missions. If you could keep an eye out for so this is the first one that I found that you had to do. Sure, I can do that. Really? Great. I was dreading having to put in another request. Yeah, she likes to natter on about how she likes to grow our own food, doesn't she? Dr. Pensky. Oh dear, I seem to have misplaced one of my Bye bye, old lady. Stop talking to me now. Mm, Bye. Fertilizer, so right, and then hey, the second sweetie. one is this girl. And she was called Katie. And it is literally talk to her. She will give you a mission to go find her cat. Me, now, have you noticed have when you came into the fault as you were coming in, a cat ran out? Now, to do this mission is dead easy. You literally go out of the vault, a couple of hundred meters mm -hmm. in front of it. I It'll think be on your little pit boy map. I saw him run by the cat is standing on a pier. You walk over to it. Oh, please you tell the cat back. to go home. Please. No one else now, when I came back in, I didn't get a chance to hand that mission in. Because I came back into the vault, 
and the hidden off. section of the vault be mission it became available. I'm sure if there's anyone so we'll just listen to her jabber on, she'll explain him. what she's got to do, and then it will jump over oh, to the next you. part. Thank you! His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Alright, now when I came back in the vault... Oh, hold on. Hold on, my mistake. You Quick way for some her. bottle caps. And how to become a Just drug dealer. Well, only the old Yay! Now this dude, oh, Bobby, hey, he gives you 75 you bottle caps mm. per jet. Sure. There's now, I don't know if you're like me, but I've had the jets. And hey, literally Bobby. the only thing I used the jet for was the crazy old lady back up at camp. I've not used any since. I just you uh, take as many as you've got sure. at 75 bottle go. caps each. Now, if you're saving up for something, it's a really handy Please way. Now, I found jet sure. everywhere. Here you go. And I can make it at the chemistry station hey, and all Bobby, sorts, so it's kind of like... Oh, sure. quick way to get a bunch of bottle caps for nothing. And then the mission started. Came back, Bobby was in here. I was looking for Bobby, because when you come back in the vault, you hear rumours of... Bobby's found a secret door into another vault. I'll do it. So you come into the you medical bay. Ride. These Bobby guys are all arguing because her son's being bitten stuff. by a mole rat. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Yes, yes. Follow him. He takes you back down into the reactor room. And he just kicks a wall and all of a sudden there's a door. Now, I didn't find a great lot in here. I'm still exploring it and my next episode will start with the ending of what's in here. Because there's a secret serum that you've got to find to save our son. Now the only thing I did find was all this story content about how this part of the vault's been spying on Fault 81. So there's a lot of terminals to read, there's a lot of chat to listen to, so what I've done is I've just skipped between the terminals. Skip between any bad guys I came across except the mole rats because they're basically just everywhere in here. You just walk along and a bunch of mole rats come along. Uh, you can kill the mole rats with just a melee attack. There's no special weapons or anything needed. They're just crappy little mole rats. I think there's one green evil one. It takes out two, three bullets to kill them. Not a great lot. So the first thing I came across was a couple of mini turrets. And one of those little security robots. Of course, I had to do the bobby pin, didn't I? Yeah, it was just... Note in it. It was very disappointing. A couple of bits. I mean, I've got weapon parts on me search for... You know, the stuff, so it comes up with a little magnifying glass of it. Uh, a couple of crappy little mini guns. Bop. Pull the sniper rifle out, one shot. Straight on it. Boom. Uh, not, not even very strong mini turrets, just crappy little ones. And then there was one of those horrible little robot things that remind us of some film, but I can't for the hell of us remember what it was. Where they had the little robot that was like, must protect, must protect kind of thing. Uh, to be quite honest, they're not even really difficult these ones, it's just one grenade in through the door. Whee! <laughs> I mean, no difficult. So I think this is the first of the terminals. No, this is the second robot. Now this robot, I've got the self-destruct. Do not put him into self-destruct. By God, does he fucking blow up like shit and kill you. He does like a double explosion and all. The best thing to do with him is to set him walking away, come back to the terminal and set him to self-destruct from a distance. And if you, if you pop along and put him on self-destruct and stand close, you'll see God. why. Unlike the other ones, he doesn't just have a tiny little explosion. He's like, fucking nuclear missile goes off. But he's got plenty of shit to collect. Fusion cores, fusion cells, the whole the whole package in there for him. He, he was a canny little, little dude. Because I put him on medic for most of the things, so he just followed us along on medic. And then I got bored of him and decided to kill him. You know, what else should you do with him? It's a shame that you can't, like, at this point, hack them and take them. We're able to just, like, you know, funny little robot things that just pop along the place. So, here was the first terminal. Uh, it looks like there's double-view glass, but you can't see through it anymore. 
You can just hear the conversation that's going on in the room next door. All of them have got a bunch of text to read, so if you want to catch up on the story, hit the pause button and read it, or jump on. Go along Fault 81 and have a look yourself. It's all to do with the people who were running this part of the fault were doing experiments on the guys in the main vault. And I'm presuming since this side of the vault is completely destroyed, there's all went wrong. <laughs> no, I must admit, on all the exploration of this side of the vault, I didn't find anything fucking useful. Plenty of stim packs and radaways and stuff like that. Plenty of ammo and stuff to pick up as well. But I didn't find anything like, you know, like hidden weapon or um, some sort of hidden piece of armor or anything like that. Now I'm hoping that after you've done these, the lady upstairs in the trading room will family? reduce her prices because she's got a hell of a snack. Yeah, I want. So busy, huh? More or less. One Explain hit. Explain to Aaron why your needs are more... No buts. And then this another window, really another fault. terminal. We can't risk this. You hear the conversation again going on on the other side. I did find this whole part of Fault 81 a little bit boring, to be honest. I, I would have expected some sort of super mutant mole rat or legendary mole rat or something to be guarding the place. But no, just normal mole rats and one weird little green one. This, this place isn't very hard to get lost, it just seems to follow one pack. Go on, die, you bastard mole rats. Right, now this is the door that I wasn't able to get through, so I'm presuming that either somewhere in the Fault 81 there is an alternative access, or I need to level up my hacking ability, which I've done, which is why it'll be the start of the next episode. Now, I found this box out before. Oh yes! A Fault 81 box. Yay. How exciting was the contents of that box, eh? All that for absolutely piss all. Um, and what a waste of time. And then I think this is the last room that I made it to with the final terminal that I found. Plenty of contents in that terminal. Loads and loads of explanation about what's been going on and a little bit of explanation of like somebody refused to infect the people in the fault next door and bits and pieces like that. Not a great lot to be honest. And as always I think I'm over weird. As you can see, I'm only using the Minuteman General's outfit at the moment. Bits and pieces of the armor that I've been fighting are all combined together, not as strong as the Minuteman armor, so I've just been getting rid of them. Um, you'll notice that I don't have any of my big weapons in my pit boy. Codsworth's got a hold of all them for us. So he's got me flamethrower, me, me little mini nuke thing, one of me mini guns. Yeah, he's, he's got quite a few of the bits and pieces. Uh, this this is all there was in here, a shitload of junk. Came in handy for me because all the bits and pieces that I need, like the silver trays and uh, little bits of electronic boards. And I think if you blow that other robot up, you get two circuit boards, which is quite good for a lot of us. As you can see, this, this just goes on and on. And while this is going through there, I'll just remind you guys to pop over to Key Ninja on eBay. Check out his eBay store. Tell him that no fear gaming sent you over in a personal message. When you spend over a tenner with him, he'll send you a free random key. Now, the random keys are quite good. Could be anything from an old fashioned Duke Newton game right the way through to a modern day game. He has no price cap on his random keys. I'm not sure how he generates them or where they come from, but normally when I buy one, I get an email instantly of here's your random generated key. These these are fully 100% legal keys, mind you. These aren't some crap that you need VPN to activate with. So don't forget to go over and pop pop over there and check him out. I mean, I'm going over there tomorrow to buy Just Cause free off there because it's only 28 quid off him as where it's 34 on Steam. So about an 8 quid saving, which will do me. Uh, here we are, coming up to the end of the terminal story. I ain't going to call this a full episode, I'm going to call this part 6.5. <laughs> and there we are. Bye bye.